We keep having to remind Dan he's not going to get out of riding the horse. You're going to learn dressage. That's the Whenever it happens... That's the one benefit that's come out of all of this. <laughs> that no, no need to do the horse training. I will do it one day. If we get... Oh, I'm looking forward to If we to get to a place where we can. With Charlotte Dujardin, yeah. And you've got to do your... Um, I'm going to be yeah, climbing. I'm looking forward to that. Um, now, we've also been talking this morning, haven't we? Uh, Matt Hancock yesterday day saying that the government is looking for two... I know lots of you have been asking about that this morning. So, uh, news, travel and weather, wherever you're watching, Jim will have the headlines and Jeremy Hunt's coming up at 8.30 as well this morning. See you in a moment. Hello, very good morning to you. Welcome to Breakfast with Dan Walker and Louise Minchin. Headlines for you at 8 o'clock on this Wednesday morning. Stepping Good morning. It's Wednesday the 25th of March. The efforts to fight coronavirus are ramping up as the death toll increases and more people are testing positive for the disease. The government is opening a huge new makeshift hospital in London and has appealed for a quarter of a million volunteers to help the NHS. The number of UK deaths rose to 422 yesterday. That's a rise of 87 in one day. Charlotte Rose reports up of what's going on and some of that I'm um, really quite distressing to hear actually yeah and we keep hearing about how various countries are sort of in the in the yeah. stage of dealing with coronavirus Italy a few weeks ahead of where we are at at the moment which is why so many of the NHS workers we're talking about keep mentioning what will happen in the next sort of 10 days to two weeks in the UK and we'll be speaking to a couple of people about that actually in the next few minutes um, first of all Carol can tell us what's going on with um, about 170,000 people have already registered to be volunteers for the NHS uh, since that appeal went out from the and government people which are is on breakfast saying thank you to us for putting out and you're going to do it in a second uh, for putting out the information where you can do it because they're, they're volunteering while they're watching breakfast as well which okay. is lovely thank the you. number's probably going up then if you do want to join Talk to you first of all what is the situation uh, where you're working you know how many people are you treating what's going on well, first of all, it's fantastic to hear. People we're speaking to are speaking of this kind of like calm before the storm. Um, how much preparations have been done and do you feel ready? That could lead to. How do you feel as, as someone on the front line when you see that sort of thing at the moment? But a better news in some ways coming out of Wuhan, where, of course, it's started and they put in really stringent... ..to talk to you and Alex, you're giving a really good idea of why, you know, we all need to listen to and do what we're being told. Um, thank you very much. Thank you both very much indeed and we'll talk to you again. Thank you. It's just great to speak to experts, isn't it? People who know what they're doing. Yeah, right on the front line, those yeah. two as well. Um, it's um, 8.28, you're watching Breakfast. We'll be back with the headlines. You probably know what they are shortly, but stay with <laughs> us. We've got lots more. The Green Goddess. I mean, you can't miss her. Oh, and Jeremy Hunt, former exactly. health secretary, is coming up. Right now, let's Not get the together. news, the travel <laughs> and the weather, wherever you are. Hello, well, welcome back. You are watching Breakfast with Dan and Louise. Uh, 8.32, so... Uh, to bring you the headline from what we were speaking to the National Medical Director just a few moments ago, 170,000 people have already come forward to volunteer for the NHS in the fight. Correct myself. 250,000 volunteers. It's a quarter of a million volunteers they're looking for. And thank you. I know that people have been watching the programme. We've mm. been giving out the address. And you, some of you have been volunteering. I know not everybody can for obviously their own particular reasons, but thank you. To say that that request went out last night, wasn't it? Sort of yeah. late in the afternoon, and then 170,000 already, and probably more all the time as well. We'll keep putting the address up as well over the course of the programme. We're here until nine o'clock today. Um, Sal is, is downstairs, and we are socially distancing right across the board, trying to make sure we're in touch with government guidelines at the moment. So, Sal's. A Good news sometime in the future. Thank you. The Housing Secretary has told this programme, he was here an hour ago, that it's down to employers to enforce social distancing in the construction industry. Yeah, that's following criticism of the government for allowing non-essential building work to continue. While in Scotland, those sites have been told to stop. Uh, Nina, lots of... Uh, hopefully we'll be speaking to the former Health Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, in a few moments. But with the outbreak forcing classrooms to close, homeschooling is now a reality for many parents. It's not that easy, as, as most people and, and are finding lots of out. Lots people have been finding out, haven't they? Uh, so some celebrities have been doing their bit online to help keep our children informed, entertained and healthy. Let's have a look. Those skulls. I very much enjoy That's my, one why of my highlights. That that. Uh, what is that and why is it interesting? <laughs> it, is, it is interesting. I know it's interesting. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> That oh, was brilliant, Louise. Thank you. Oh, class. <laughs> I very much enjoyed that. And thank you to all those people who are helping and talking about our incredible NHS. 1.4 million, fifth biggest organisation in the world. Incredible work being done. I know you've got lots of questions. There's a BBC News special, Coronavirus. You might have noticed uh, pictures of rainbows springing up in windows in where you live. It's part of a trend which started online, encouraging pupils who can no longer go to school to put up the paintings and spread hope. Teachers say it's given children a sense of community despite having to stay indoors. Let's take a look at what some of you have been making. Wonderful. Do you know what time it is, Louise? 
It's Green Goddess time. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? Uh, here she is with today's gentle home workout routine. You will indeed. Well, I, think, I think she's here every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Yes. And we'll put it on our social media in case you want to repeat the exercises or watch it again. Good for the old triceps, Louise. Very good for the Very, triceps. Very, she's brilliant. Um, we, oh, apparently it's already on there. It's on social media right now. Uh, one other thing we've been speaking about all throughout the morning. Um, I know lots of you have sort of looked into this, have been thinking about it as well, volunteering for the NHS. So, yes. Thank you, everybody, by the way. For yes, that. you're lovely, and it's been great to have your company as well. And breakfast will be back tomorrow from 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, have a lovely day. We shall see you soon.